Okay, Don back. Well, I was back. I was uh, showing my new Seagate five terabyte uh, USB drive, hard drive, and uh, Mom came in. She had super glue on her fingers. She needed help getting it off, so I had to quit abruptly making the video. But uh, you know, one thing when you're reading all those reviews on Amazon or pretty much anywhere, but Amazon is especially since they sell so many different products uh, and they don't separate the reviews to model by model numbers and stuff uh, it gets really tricky to uh, figure out which model they're talking about you know unless the reviewer talks mentions the actual model you know the year was made and everything else it can be across several different years and you know, I, I didn't see, I saw pictures, lots of pictures, a couple of videos. And I don't remember seeing these big triangular vent holes, so that's a good thing. I think maybe this is a bit of a redesign. Maybe it's the same model and they kind of updated it a little bit. I don't know, because the case looks the same overall. Of course, they could have just, this could be a different model. <clears throat> uh, and that's the other thing. They, they have many pages with the same product, so... Um, you can click. Uh, well, it's kind of hard to say, explain it. I don't know exactly how they, how this happens. But you can save a link. You can buy a product. Click on it again. You know, like say, uh, go in your your uh, your records and click on the last product you bought. It won't always be the same exact product. Uh, it seems like I won't swear to that, but I do know that uh, I have saved. I save bookmarks of everything I'm interested in. And I've clicked on those links and went back, and it, I've confirmed to myself that it was not the same product that was on there before. So they dynamically update their dynamic website uh, in a way that, uh, their database in a way that can change things. So, uh, yeah, that doesn't really matter how you do that. It's not going to let you see it, I don't think. It's better than it was a while ago, but still all that reflection, that's even worse. But, uh, and if I put the thing up to the uh, camera lens, it, this camera, this phone is only a, it's 5 megapixel camera advertised, but it's 2.1 megapixel video, so it does not focus on small things. So anyway, um... I was talking about <clears throat> I, uh, how a lot of people take them out. I don't even see the seams on it. Oh wait, I think I feel it. I think maybe it comes apart right there. Yeah, it's, it may be glued though. But anyway, I'm not gonna take it apart. Uh, but you could, from what I've read, I imagine it's sim even if it's a little different than the ones I saw on the web. Some of the pictures I saw. Um, maybe a little bit earlier models that people bought um, you could probably you should be able to take the drive out and put it in a computer if you wanted to but I think what I'm gonna do since it looks like it's ventilated well it's got holes in them this these are rubber feet here so it would you can either stand it up like that I guess it's kinda of meant it doesn't have any feet anywhere else it's meant to be standing up like that so you got air coming in the bottom and then venting out, which would basically probably be the back of it, you know, too. You'd probably want to put your cables in the back, you know, so cables back here and so the air would vent out. Of course, uh, well, they are in the, they do go up in the top, so all the way from the bottom to the top. So the heat should be able to escape. It, that was the thing. One thing that worried me about it is all the ones I saw, they said there wasn't any way for the heat to escape in the they thought that the heat was killing them, you know. And, uh, of course, it's really all to do the things, even in the last 15 years, aren't made as well as they used to be. I've got all kinds of hard drives all the way back from a Windows 3.1 hard drive out of an old 486 to, you know, a couple of years, year or two ago, the last time I bought one. And uh, they all, they, you know, the majority of them still work just fine. Some of them, when you run a test on them, they'll show signs of aging, and they'll say, two or three of them, I, two of them, I think I have, say, you know, imminent failure, you know, but they haven't failed, and it's still been three, you know, three years or more. Uh, but I have one, two, I'm looking at one, two, three 
dead hard drives that I save parts over here in my shelf. Uh, four, I can think of another one that's in that shelf that I can't see right now. So, uh, and one of them is old, I can see it, and the other two are, you know, within the last five years or so. Well, last, I'm going to say last ten years to be safe. So anyway, <clears throat> here we go. I guess I'll get it hooked up. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> see see how it does. I'll, I already run Linux on everything, and I'm partial to, for my backup drives, I use either EXT3 file system or EXT4. NTFS uh, really doesn't work well with Linux. You, it, the write speeds are extremely slow, so I don't use NTFS for my backup drive. Um, of course, I wouldn't. I don't want that on my Linux system anyway, for all kinds of reasons, slow writing and other things too. But uh, that I can't think of right now. But anyway, this is probably if it's form. I believe it is formatted, uh, from what I remember. So it's probably NTFS. So we'll find out. All right. Bye.